Hello everyone, welcome to the last five videos in this series, Easy Ways to Fill a Sketchbook. So today I'm going to draw something that starts with the letter V. Um, I'm thinking of drawing a vegetable store here in Singapore and this is actually a screenshot from one of my videos. As you can see, this market is very crowded. So because I'm drawing, I can choose to draw or not draw uh, things that I see from this uh, screenshot. Today I'll be drawing with ink straight away and I'm going to be drawing really fast. So this lady here is probably the vegetable seller. Here in Singapore, we have vegetables at this wet markets as well as uh, in supermarkets. In supermarkets, the vegetables, they are already packed in plastic bags, but here at wet markets, you can actually choose and pick your own vegetables. So some people actually prefer that because they want to pick like the freshest um, vegetables possible. And usually for wet markets um, in newer neighborhood estates in Singapore, they can be quite difficult to uh, find because um, they give way to bigger supermarkets. So for the vegetables, I'm going to try and draw them with thin lines. So I'm not, um, I'm using the least amount of pressure that I can with this pen. This is the Pelican M200 fountain pen. So with fountain pens, usually when you draw with very light pressure, you are, you can almost get a much thinner line. And I want the thinner lines for the vegetables because vegetables, they don't have hard edges. But for the baskets like this, I can draw them with hard edges. So this will give me the thin and thick uh, contrast and also, and also help me differentiate between the vegetables and the baskets and the boxes. Here in Singapore, the prices for vegetables are quite affordable uh, in my opinion. Of course, some people may argue against that, uh, um, especially for low-income earners, but relatively speaking, uh, it is quite affordable compared to the uh, income that Singaporeans are earning. So the medium income here in Singapore is about 3,000 uh, Singapore dollars. And vegetables like this, for one pack of vegetables, it's about two to three dollars so it's not that expensive and food prices are sort of um, I mean the prices of food are sort of controlled in Singapore there's I'm not sure if there's any specific law that controls the prices for food but I mean the food prices they are kept low as much as possible Again, uh, there may be people who will disagree, but I mean, when you take a look at the income level of uh, Singaporeans and compare the food prices, I think it's still, um, it's still quite affordable. So in wet markets like this, we sell a lot of things. Other than vegetables, we also have meat, uh, pork, chicken, um, not the exotic meat, but the more uh, common one, common ones. Okay, this sketch is almost done. I need to draw some boxes here, right on top of the stores, because some of um, the owners, the store owners, they like to keep stuff up there. They like to stack like a lot of things up there because the space is very tight. Oh, there are also a lot of fruit stores here, uh, stores that sells flowers. So 
So let me just stack up. Um, I mean, from my reference photo, I'm not able to see um, all these things, but I mean, since I'm drawing, I can actually afford to draw a bit more stuff here, just to make things look um, more interesting. Okay, so this sketch, it's almost done. Let me just draw a few more vegetables here. So for the vegetables, um, I'm going to draw them with thin lines. For the people that are buying the vegetables, the customers, you can see the lines, they are much thicker. So this is what I have so far. Today I'll be painting with uh, this watercolor sticks the Anna Smith watercolor sticks that I have been trying to use them up these are actually quite worth the money because I mean the sticks are quite big and they can last for a long time so let me just paint very quickly and this is the time lapse so I started by painting with the clean colors first. Basically, I try to use the color strip from the pen. So I usually start with yellow. And in this case, I painted yellows and then mix it with a little bit of blue for the vegetables, for the green colors. And now I am mixing the yellow with a cool red permanent rose for the skin tones. Um, at this stage, I try to keep my colors light because I'm just painting the light values. And next, painting the reds. So I go through the three primary colors, um, yellow, uh, blue, and red. Um, sometimes the sequence is a bit different, but usually I start with the clean colors first before my uh, cup of water gets dirty. And then as I move on, um, as the uh, cup of water gets dirty and my palette gets more dirty, I would mix the neutralized colors. In this case, uh, you see the ground, the floor, that's mixed with Hansai Yellow Medium, Cobalt Blue and Permanent Rose. For the more vibrant blue, that's with Ultramarine. And for the boxes, it's a blue and New Gambosh mix. And this is still, um, I mean, this sketch, uh, for the color scheme of this sketch, it's very light and airy. So you see a lot of bright colors. And the last stage, of course, is to add some shadows. And for this, I used Ultramarine and um, what's that pigment? Uh, PBR25. Uh, I'm not sure what's the name of the color, but well, that's the pigment. So with uh, Ultramarine and PBR25, I was able to get like really dark uh, colors. This was drawn and painted really quickly. I really liked how this turned out. I missed out on coloring certain areas. So let me just use the fountain pen to uh, make certain areas darker. Okay, I think this is um, pretty much done. Just want to add some little dots here for texture. As much as possible, I try to let the colors mix on the paper. And I also try not to mix the colors too much so as to keep the colors vibrant. So for these uh, boxes here, this is a mix of cobalt blue and new gumbosh. So you can see the orange from the gumbosh here. And this is new gumbosh straight from the pen. So if you use the color straight from the pen uh, and dab it onto the paper, you're gonna get very vibrant colors. And usually the vibrant colors, they will stand out even more when you have um, dull colors beside. So for this, this is a mix of cobalt blue, Hansa yellow medium and permanent rose. So this sketch, uh, even though it looks like it has a lot of details, um, actually it has, but uh, it was drawn really quickly and very sketchily. So 
So I think the thin and thick lines, they work quite well. So for elements in the background, uh, those were drawn with thinner lines. I think I managed to capture how busy this market is. And when you add a lot of people in your scene, it's definitely going to make it look more lively. Adding vibrant colors are also helps. Let's take a look here in the foreground. If you guys have been following along with this series, you can share your work with this hashtag, AZ Sketchbook on your social media pages. So now we are down to the last four letters, W, X, Y, Z. Um, it has been so fun to sketch uh, all the sketches that I have drawn over the last few weeks. I will do a sketchbook tour when this series concludes. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye.